just kind of an overview of my ATV with my cab that I made for it. That's a Tracker ATV 570, basically an Red Cat. And on the front of it, I have a 54 inch Berkamac snowblower that's powered by a 22 horse Honda engine. As you can see, it gets quite a bit of a blowback from the snow, especially with the winds that we get up here. So I wanted something to protect me from that, and I couldn't find anything I really liked. I saw a guy on Facebook made a very similar cab on his ATV, and I really liked it. I'll, I'll try to include a link of his. But you can see I got lights on the back, and a big light bar on the front to really kind of shine through the darkness because a lot of the snow blowing here in the morning and the evening is done in the dark. There's another light on the blower itself. And the Berkamac just mounts right on the front. The ATV cab has doors on either side so you can exit and enter from either side. And then it's an aluminum tube structure that's riveted together. And then I got it sheeted with black Arctic vinyl which has a minus 40 degree crack ratio. It's basically the thing, same thing you'd find on a snowmobile seat to cover that. Anyways, inside I have everything I need to basically operate the machine. With the exception of starting the Berkmac, it has to be done outside on the actual engine itself. But I control it from here. I can toggle the switch to get the impeller going. I can hit the panic button and shut it off. I can turn lights on and I can adjust the chute. There's the toggle, the panic, lights. And then I can adjust the chute here. Right or left, up or down. All from inside the cab. It's powered by its own battery source that runs that front engine and also it powers the cab here itself with the lights that are on the front and the back. You see I have a head unit here that has a stereo. I have my light control switch there and there and uh, dome lights. I have front and back dome lights there because it's kind of nice in the dark to be able to see what you're doing. There's a front winch on the tracker that basically lifts the Berkelmac up and down when you're not when you want it out of your way. It doesn't uh, like on a blade. It, all that weight's put back on the ATV. Very little is put back on this ATV. Of course, gotta have a wiper. Just a little hand wiper to clear off a line of sight. And then most importantly, a coffee mug holder. There you have it. So I kind of wanted to give you a rundown of how I did it. Started out with plywood, covered them with truck bed liner and mounted them to the rack. And then I built off of that with my aluminum frame. Just kind of piecing it together as I was going and venting it. You see I'm covering it with the vinyl. That's the box for the radio and that's it mounted. Here I got the doors on and then the black vinyl on and the windows in place. Side the control box lights and really bright. I want to thank you for watching my Redneck ATV cab and my Burko 54 inch floor.